if you want to undertake things that members of your family has never undertaken. Example is you want to make you want to become a millionaire or a billionaire. You want to break away from generational poverty. You want to break away from people not living long in your family. They die at the age of 50, 60. They are gone. You want to break from it. You want to break away from people having high education. They have degrees from major universities. And they die suddenly. They don't do anything with it. Yvonne Anderson. Welcome. If you want to start a new history, let's say after a divorce, and you don't want to sit down and be crying, It's going to take you more than what you bargained for. Joshua has in front of him Jericho. And Jericho had a great wall built around it. Joshua and his army do not know how to penetrate Jericho and take over. People, I hope you know that most war on earth is land war. The war to take over lands. I hope you know it. Almost all wars is to take over land and the natural resources therein. God saw that what Joshua was doing is part of his agenda, part of God's agenda, to take land, to conquer people. But God must first take Joshua. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Did you guys get it? This is getting interesting. Yes. Before you take the land, I don't know whether my Mary is with us this afternoon. If she is, she's welcome. Elizabeth, welcome. I want to thank it, of you who are here. Um, Viga. Yes, Samantha. Samantha, thank you for finding time. You is there from your place. Just ivory tower and, um, <laughs> and gold and diamond tower to be here this afternoon. Leona, thank you, thank you, thank you, my love, um, for having some time to come and be with us. Yvonne, thank you so much. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful beautician. Thank you. I'm very, very. Lizzie, this is Lizzie. Lizzie, oh, wonderful, Lizzie. Thank you so Lizzie, much. I'm here today. Oh, Vicky. Vicky, this is awesome. Thank you so much. You are here. The queen is here. All right. <laughs> so, if you are in God's agenda and you are going to capture land, capture people, you are going to further the agenda of what Moses didn't accomplish. Aaron didn't accomplish it. All the people that have come before Joshua did not accomplish what he's about to accomplish. First, he has led the people into the land of Canaan. Moses didn't do that. He was not allowed to. 
he limited himself. He, in fact, he put himself out of that. So what Joshua is about to attempt has never been attempted in the history of the Hebrews. When you face challenges that look absolutely insurmountable, that is when you will know the kind of God that you have. So Joshua is looking at Jericho, sizing it up talking to himself, how can I conquer this place? How can it become mine? How can it become God's own territory? Just as the Palestinian and Israelites are fighting today. We cannot say it's not our business, and we cannot say it is our business. Because there are people who are professionally paid to take care of such things. The people whose job it is to do the politics and to do the mediation. This is the land that was given. God has promised Joshua, wherever the sole of his feet will land or will step into, he will give it to him and he will give it to the children of Israel. But here is something mighty. Here is something that has not been attempted before. And they don't also have the equipment for this. Yeah. Not enough. These people, Jericho people were known to build high walls, fortified cities. These were, these were great people. So there he is. There is a place that I, w I want to really tell you the truth. You do not need just to sit and pray and fast, but you need to go and look at the kind of car you want to buy, test drive it. Victoria did it last Saturday. She went to test drive Tesla and Lucid, two kinds of electric cars. And I'm very, very impressed with that. Don't just sit down and pray and fast about something, the kind of house you want. Last Saturday, I went to look at some million-dollar homes. And I wasn't impressed with them because they didn't even have what I need. They kind of, there were no swimming pool, there were no fish ponds, there were no jet tops, and you call that a million-dollar home? <laughs> <laughs> there were no basketball courts. I just thought that this cheap <laughs> but you have to go and stand or enter into a place things that you want to have a land go and look at how big is an acre of land 20 acres a hundred acres a thousand acres a million acres you start to widen your imagination to take a look at it. What about owning a lot of apartment complexes and you go to where they have those things? That, like there are some apartment complexes that are built, so many of them in one place. You step into it. You go there and pretend like you, you are going to rent and you ask them to show you the studio, the one bedroom, the two bedroom, the three bedroom, the four bedroom. And they show you all the amenities. And you walk out and you, and you go away. You have to begin to go and look at those things. The kind of how you want to be seen on the earth. The kind of dresses you want to appear in. You can't afford them now. But those are things that are part of your professional life. You go, you go and try them on. You don't need to buy them right away. 
businesses you would like to own, go and look at those businesses. If it's a gas station, you go walk around it and take a look at them. Don't just sit back. Some years back, I did a conference in at Wall Street. And some of you will remember, it was so cold. But I wanted to capture your attention that you have to go to where you want to be and take a look at it. When God sees that you have that kind of boldness and bravery and passion, something will happen. God will send you a captain of the host of heaven so that heavenly people will mingle with earthly people, including you, to deliver what you want. It's not always human strength that will give you what you want. There is a place where divine beings, uh, let me be exact, angels will be released. And here, because of the kind of thing that Joshua is embarking on and conquering it, a nation or city state or something, a captain of the hosts, Remember, God is called the Lord of hosts, Yahweh of hosts, Adonai of hosts. In wartime, God is called as the Lord of hosts because he has to come with his host to win for you, to give you success, to give you a winning. So a captain of the host was sent. And one important thing that the captain of hosts did, he told Joshua to remove the sandals from his feet because where he is standing is holy. Why is it holy? The presence of a captain of the hosts, God's armies. This is captain of God's army, one of the captains of God's army, which means the presence of of God is here. Adonai Shama is here. My God is present. His angel is here, so he's here. It doesn't mean that God was not present with Joshua, but God is present through a captain. And that is heavy. That tells you that this captain is a mighty angel that is standing before before uh, Joshua. And Joshua bowed down and worshipped the Lord, not worshipped the angel. Remove the sandals from your feet. Which means your military training, your education, your experience, your connection, your networking is not enough. That's why God is sending a captain to you. That's the meaning. The war is not your war. And before God can win for you, God wants to win you over 100%. God wants to conquer you. He wants to own you. God wants to take you. Before you can take land, you can take people. God wants to take you first. And that's what we are doing. And that's why the topic or the theme of this 40-day fasting that we meet every 12 noon from last night, October 17th to November 26th. Central time, 12 noon and 12 midnight. It's so that God can take us. Let God take you first. And then you can take whatever you want to take. <laughs> God wants to take you. God wants to conquer you first. Then he can now make you conquer everything else, everyone else. What you are pursuing. Yield. Let God take you. When God take you, you can take everything else. <laughs> this is so cool. I love it. I really do. And that is why Isaac was very successful in life. Why? 
God took him. He asked Abraham to bring Isaac. We will go there. It will be part of what we are going to deal this 40 days. So Joshua was taken first. He was sacrificed first. By yielding, by worship, by saying, Lord, I'm not sufficient. I'm not enough. I want you to pray right now and tell God, I'm not enough. Dear Jesus, my redeeming king, not enough. I don't have what it takes. In the midst of human beings who are very savvy, a lot of human beings know more than me. They have, they were born into a wealthy home. They were born healthy, born wealthy. People in physical groups, you are not. So ask God to take you first and to make you the kind of person that will never fail. Remember our team, thou shall not fail. So I want you to pray that prayer right now. And say, Lord, take me first. Take me first. Every failure in my life, take it. Every success in my life, take it. My destiny, take it. Conquer me first. I have tried. I have struggled. I have done all that I can do. But right here, right now, I remove this thing from off my feet. I yield. Take me. In Jesus Christ. And in his sacrifice, I give. Take me. And then, become Yahweh Shammah. My God is present. Be present from now on. You see, because of this one thing that happened, Joshua did not fail God. He didn't fail God. Because God took Joshua. And now Joshua can take orders, can conquer, can be a real leader. That was when it happened. The leadership of Joshua began right there. And I'm going to it tonight. But right now, I want you to pray and say, God, please take me. Take me. Conquer me so that I can conquer. Conquer me. Bless me right here so that I can be blessed. Please pray. Pray aloud. Pray aloud. Pray aloud. And then when you pray, I want you to pray and tell God to bring the war that is happening or about to, to, to bust out all over the world to put an end to it. Put an end to every war that we don't want war between russia and ukraine tell god to put an end to it war between israel and palestinian tell god to put an end to it war between jews christian muslims hindus buddhists all the different silent wars god should put an end to them and then begin now to pray for what you need come on begin to pray today you've been summoned by god ask for whatever you want and you will get it if it is money mention it how much money you need how many houses you need how many cars you need how many businesses you want whatever you want god to do for you mention it right now and let's round this up and pray for our mission and pray for me Please pray, please pray, please pray. And thank you, eternal Father, Lord, for answering God of our prayer. Thank you, Lord. Conquer the Lord us. of hope. I yield to you fully, Lord. Manifest who you are. Manifest I am not enough, are. Lord. I have chosen. Lord, it is Lord. true. I am not enough. I am not enough, Lord. Take I'm me, not Lord. enough to do what you, you want me, Lord. To do. Oh God, I, I cannot do this without you. You know I've, I've tried. I have take tried to do things without me. you, Lord, and it, I just can't do it. You, Lord, I yield myself to you fully. Conquer me, O oh God, so that I can conquer. Lord, the war, Lord. 
Father. Oh, yeah, yeah. Decker me, O oh Lord, so that I can conquer the universe. Jesus. Lord, the war. Stop it. Stop the war that has begun, O oh God. Put an end to it. Stop it immediately, O oh God. You can stop it. Lord, your captain, send them out. Lord. Stop the war, Lord. Stop it. The war that has begun. Put an end immediately, O oh Lord. It's easy for you, Lord. Nothing is hard for you, Lord. You can do it. Send your captain, Lord, to conquer all these wars and put an end to them. Let the peace begin. Lord, what I need, Lord, I need money. I need money. Lord, I need 140 dollars. With this money, I can do so many things. I can begin to put businesses together and hire people, Lord. I can buy homes and I can buy land. Lord, we know that land is what we want to be have. With the money, I can have it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We will meet again at 12 midnight. Thank you so much for this great Amen. Jesus. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you. Amen.